production on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading edge technology such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocar, and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. Nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. <coughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. Access denied.
Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. It isn't working. I tried everything, but computers aren't responding. I can't get root access to the systems. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. All right, let's go. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing, especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority over this. This is Paul Simon, Security Specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything access unusual. Granted. End of lock. Marine. I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. We need to pick up the pace. Can't wait for you. 
Reaching the communication system as quickly is imperative. UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to Warning. see something. EPD like, laser something active. was talking to him and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living, but they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex actions. 
Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of look. Audio log for Jack Smith, uh, benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out Gas as well. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate end of log.
Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the Hydrocon can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been in short supply. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds for everyone. Oh, he startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought it was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The Hydrocon's blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful with that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control.
people on Earth have waged war over two vital decisions. Everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development. Reaching anyone. I'm broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. Please help me. I've locked myself in storage room C4. Please, if anyone can hear me, please help me. Audio report regarding the disrespectful treatment of new research staff, September 14th, 2145. As you know, I have gone to considerable effort to recruit my staff researchers for Alpha Labs. Finding team members with the qualifications, let alone the willingness to come to Mars, has not been a trivial task. You know this already. But it is necessary that I emphasize why their complaints must be taken seriously. We won't be able to keep our people or recruit new researchers if the harassment continues. No, harassment is exactly the right word. I'm routinely getting reports of UAC security asking inappropriate questions and submitting my staff to unnecessary background checks. I must insist that we be allowed to keep our personal lives private and be left to complete our assignments without further delays. 
If there is some kind of security threat, I suggest that UAC security look more deeply into their own This is Andrew Chief. They've located your position, but are unable to move to your current location. Head through engineering and try to link up with them in Sector 3. Audio log for Walter Connors. The MFS compressor is producing fantastic results. The latest modification I made to the dilation matrix were the real key to the recent breakthrough. All in all, I feel my work on this project has been the catalyst that propelled everything forward. I've also taken a set amount of time each day to make sure that everyone is doing their job, and of course I check all of their data to ensure that no mistakes are made. This is going to be a huge moneymaker for the company, and quite honestly, without my input and hard work, I am not sure that we would have gotten this far. I wanted also to thank you for your supervisory role in the project. Working with you is a true honor. Just remember me and your reports as I'm certain I deserve a promotion. can help you. The lights are all out. Uh, I'll lead you through here if you can get me off this base. Electromagnetic pulses have knocked out the electrical systems in this area. Watch out. A big one could knock out our lights.
This is Operations Coordinator Mark Lamia, dated November 1st, 2145. I'm filing this report because I am frustrated beyond belief by the level of incompetency I have to deal with here. I don't know where HR is getting the new employees, but the last five guys they've sent me were all a bunch of idiots. They can't get any of their work done on time, I constantly have to keep an eye on them. They work slow, they don't follow any of the standard operating procedures and they can't even remember basic things that I tell them. For example, I changed the cabinet door codes here to 123 because I thought that was easy enough to remember, but they still forgot it. I don't understand why HR can't get me better people. I'm requesting full authority to hire and fire my own employees. It's the only way I can run my department smoothly. End of log.
Warning. Toxins present. Please execute cleanup procedure. Toxic gas is cleared. Waste disposal area now safe for entry. Marine, we gotta pick up the pace. We got more men down. Bravo team is barely holding their own.
Marine, I was able to locate your position. Four comms to two are getting the malfunction and shut down. Massive service disruptions throughout the entire base. Uh, how long I'll be able to track you? Bravo team has just entered the end program. Pick up the pace. You aren't far behind.